As mentioned before, pap smear is a screening test for cervical cancer. It cannot tell you that you have cancer. So no one's going to do a pap smear and call you and say, well, you had cancer. What it does, it's a way of screening a whole lot of women. And then your pap smear is going to come back abnormal. And when it comes back at normal, there are times that, depending on the abnormality, we might choose to repeat your pap smear. Uh, depending on the abnormality, we might add another test called the human papillomavirus test, the HPV. And then there's another time we might call you in to come in for a colposcopy. That's where we take a look at the cervix under better magnification. We paint your cervix with a material like acetic acid, which is like vinegar and take a look at the cervix. And if we see any changes, we then get a tissue biopsy and send that to the lab. And it is the results of the tissue biopsy that give us a definitive diagnosis. Will that give you if you have cancer or not? That will tell us if you have cancer. Will that say if you have the, the other? HPV? Yes. yes. I mean, the good thing about pap smears in this country, we are able to, to um, reduce the risk of cervical cancer. Around the world, cervical cancer is a leading cause of death. It's not that case here in the U.S. because people come for routine pap smears. So the good news is we're finding lesions, precancerous lesions, before they turn into cervix, and we treat those lesions. Uh, most of the people that have cervical cancer in this country are women who haven't had a pap smear for years or have had an abnormal pap smear and have never followed up. And let me tell you, one thing that's been good about the United States, most uh, states have a program where you can get pap smears for free. So not having an insurance is not an excuse for not getting a pap smear. Pap smears, mammograms, most states have it available for free. Where would you look for that? You can go online um, if you have access. And if you don't have a computer at home, the library is a good resource. And if you put down free health care in your particular area, um, for instance, we're here in Columbus. If you put free healthcare in Columbus, it can direct you straight to free clinics in the, in, in the area.